All right, Crip Team, looks like we're live. Oh, looks like we got someone in the chat already. <laughs> you might hear some noise. Anyways, guys, so I might wait a little bit. I might just chat it up for a little bit for those that are tapping in after the live. But uh, I'm also going to procrastinate a little bit, so give a little bit of time for those joining the live. Um, you might hear uh, my nephew a little bit here and there. But anyways, you guys asked for... Secrets, because uh, I always been telling you guys that I do shit that nobody else does in the hobby. And everybody else just picks up my ideas and makes videos on that shit. So to further prove it, um, and they, uh, like you said, nobody ever gives me credit for none of my fucking contributions in the hobby and shit. But I really don't give a fuck. And you guys, as my witnesses, everybody that taps in, all the fellow reefers, and everybody in the Rasa community. Um... Uh, I'm going to show you guys a little secret, and you guys are going to be my witnesses to uh, things that I do that nobody else does in the hobby. Even if you type it in, uh, if you type in a spectroscope in the reef aquarium hobby or in a reef tank or any of that shit, you're going to see no other videos talking about it or doing what I'm about to do, alright? Uh, so, let's see who's tapped in. Uh, remember everybody, uh, make sure you tap in on the live. Okay, let's go. Alright. So, just give everybody a little bit of time. Oh yeah, anyways, I, uh, in 10 minutes I'm gonna go grab my, my Coke, cause I do got a Coca-Cola, and then I got my frozen water right there, just, uh, I just let it melt, and then I like to drink water like that. I kinda hate drinking warm water or anything like that, it fucking reminds me of, like I'm drinking tank water and I can't drink that shit. Uh, um, I can drink if it's bottled and left like in the car, like in the trunk and still cold and shit, or I don't know, it's, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, anyways, whoever tapped in the live, so like I said, uh, this is going to be a real special uh, treat for you guys. Nobody else has done this in the hobby. One thing I did forget is to put a fucking link to this shit. Uh, co reefing. Hey, what up, G? Thank you for joining, bro. Hey, bro, I, I, I got something that nobody else has done in the hobby, and hopefully people will give credit to me, but I, um, all my fellow, everybody that taps in, everybody, all my followers and supporters, especially the Raza in uh, California and er everywhere else. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that nobody else does because I do a lot of shit in the hobby and then uh, all these other YouTubers, they take my ideas and run with them and um, they make videos. But I'm going to show you guys something new that nobody else has done even if you type it in and all that bullshit. But if you type in a spectroscope in the hobby, hey, let's see. It. <laughs> all right, I'll show you, bro. All right, so if you type in a spectroscope, uh, for reef tank in the hobby or anything, anything that I just put right now in my, uh, in my thing. Uh, what do you call it? My title? You're gonna see that. So, this is a little spectroscope. Uh, so what the fuck is that? So if you don't have a PAR meter or anything like that, um, uh, basically, in science or whatever, we met, we, we don't, we, there's no real such thing as PAR. We, we, we measure light through wavelengths, uh, lumens and shit like that. Uh, Never in physics or in the chem lab, however, fucking heard a teacher or any fucking pendejo said, uh, what's the par measurement on a fucking light? Um, that's just fucking retarded shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, uh, what we do do is we use a spectroscope to identify wavelengths of light. So if you have a, let's say, uh, a hydrogen, uh, uh, a hydrogen light bulb or something, it's only going to fluoresce a certain wavelength because of the electrons in, of the atom or whatever the fuck. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. All right, so it's going to provide a unique spectrum, all right? And if, if you, let's say, for example, you go and you hit a car, right? And you got paint that transferred from your car to their car, and you run, you did a little hit and run, or if you were the guy that got hit and somebody ran off, um, if you grab a little sample of their paint, right, what you're going to do is you burn that shit and, it, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to create a light. Like you burn it so fast, it's going to create a light. So before you burn it, you look through it or you have a picture, right, and you burn it, it's going to burn a certain wavelength, all right, and it's always unique to every substance, all right, and if you look through it, it's going to produce a certain wave, uh, a certain amount of light. Uh, wavelengths of light and we could see it and you take a picture all right 
So then you take the paint from both cars or, or whatever, the car that left, that car didn't have hit and run, you burn that paint, and if it matches your paint and that paint, there's a good chance that that was him. It could have been, it was another car that had the same amount of paint, but the likelihood, so that's what they do when they do hit and runs. That's like actual legit shit that they use for the police, um, forensics and all that bullshit. Uh, but they got that shit from us. Uh, but anyway, so how that shit applies is that we're going to look through a spectroscope. It actually has a little uh, meter or a little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a little ruler and it has measurements and you can actually see. But what's really important is if you don't have a par meter, then what you really want to do is have a real nice wavelength uh, uh, light spectrum. So you want to go from blues all the way to the reds. Uh, infrareds and ultraviolets, we can't see that shit, so good luck. Because I know some lights, they have a, what, what's called infrared channels or UV channels or some shit like that. Uh, we can't really see it. We might see it as a little bit of red, but we can't really see that shit through the spectroscope. Um, maybe if you're like a dog or a different animal that has different uh, eyes that develop different to see different wave shits, uh, you'd probably be able to see it, but we can't. Hey, Rainer, what's up, G? Thanks for joining, bro. This is going to be a real special thing. But anyways, I'm also going to get my camera. I specifically chose a camera phone because we're also going to peep through this shit and look through the light and see the wave spectrum. Uh, maybe not today, but maybe next time. I'll, I'll individually, I'll grab my controller. Well, maybe I'll do it. I'll grab my controller and I'll individually put uh, one type of LED and look through it to see which LEDs are providing what spectrum of light. So if you're missing the spectrum, you see your coral's not doing so good, you're probably missing the light spectrum in there. I know um, in the deep sea, like the deeper you go, you go, the less red and more bluer you get. So that's something you want to keep in mind for what type of coral you have. So if you have a lot of deep water shit and you don't have that much blue spectrum, perhaps you want to add a little bit of blue to that shit. Or if you have corals that are near the surface, you might want to add a little bit more red shit. And the only way you're really going to know is not through your fucking uh, controller, none of that bullshit. The real way is to get a little spectroscope. And this shit, honestly, guess how much this shit is? Uh, oh, well, you could buy a, a par meter shit for like about, how much are they? Like about 900 bucks or 400 bucks or whatever. Six, let's say they're 600 bucks, right? Or like 300, I don't know, 600 bucks. You can buy this shit for like six bucks or ten bucks. I bought this shit for ten dollars on Amazon. I forgot to put the link, guys. My bad. Uh, I'll probably put it after the fucking video. But let's open this bitch up and then uh, I'm gonna look through it. I kind of looked through it, but you can't really see through it because I, I I didn't unbox it. Unbox. So I'm doing like an unboxing shit. I'll show you guys how to use this shit. It is like a little kids, uh, something you could buy for your kids or whatever. Um. Sorry, I don't know where the fuck the camera shit's at. Oh, it's right there. Oh, you probably can't see shit. I have to really align it. That's why I said I, I'm gonna align it. Um, but anyways, uh, you can buy this for your kids so they could look through a candle flame or any of that shit. Hold on. Let me, uh... Okay, no wonder you couldn't see. I had it the wrong way. But anyways, like I said, I, I'm gonna I'm fix that. But anyway, so you get the spectroscope, and you look through your reef tank light. So I'm going to have to reposition the camera because I can't see shit at this angle. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even looking at it. But you have to point through it, and there's a little slit right there. You see that? You see it? There's a little slit right here. So you, when you look through it, you have to point the little slit exactly to the fucking light, all right? And when you get it straight to the light, there's a little... Um, color band. I don't know how. Yeah, there's a color band with like a little ruler, and and it and it has the wavelength. So if you're missing any wavelength, you could pick up the intensity of that light, or you could. Sorry, my bad, guys. Or you could substitute the light with something else. Maybe you. Maybe all you need is a fucking fluorescent uh, bar, or or whatever the fuck. Like for me, like my favorite lighting is a metal halide. I like to run gases in there that are producing like around 20 Kelvin temperature. Um, this light um, at its fullest intensity is running around 10K. Right now it's probably running around maybe like 25 or like 22-ish right now. Um, it's pretty, a little bit bluer. Uh, 
but at its most intense when it gets the widest the widest i get it's maybe 18k 14k but like i said 20k but like i said uh if you're missing any wavelength and you have a part meter you get this for 10 bucks and then you can see what what light spectrum you're producing so once you're producing the light the, the right wavelengths what you want to do is a uh, Perhaps if you have like a SPS coral, maybe you just need more intense lighting. You probably just need to double that shit down with the amount of lights you have or get a better fixture. Or you might have too much intense lighting and you might find a way to reduce the light. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but the most important thing is to provide the full spectrum. Uh, I'm actually very curious to... Yeah, I'm very curious to look in there. Anyway, so... What you want to do is, you see how it's a triangle? You get the hypotenuse. Uh, you guys don't even know what the fuck the hypotenuse shit is. But the, the hypotenuse or the... You see the, the diagonal angle on the triangle? That's the side you want to hold. It depends on the device, but most of them are, are, are for your right hand. You hold it with your right hand, then you look through it. Let me... Yeah. So you have to also you want to have glasses on. Uh, make sure they're polarized. You can be looking at the fucking light. Um, don't fucking go blind looking at reef tank lights and shit. So if you work at an aquarium store, I highly recommend reef uh, polarized glasses. But anyways, we're gonna look through that shit. I'm gonna try to flip the camera and shit around. Uh, you guys already know I don't. I, everything that's going wrong with my fish tank, I just let it happen and I do it with you guys to get shit raw and uncut because I really don't give a fuck. Um, if she dies, I tell you, but I actually noticed my digi's fucking growing. I compared it with the last pictures. I'm like, oh shit, that shit's growing. Uh, sorry about the acro though, but fucking, uh, since the salinity dropped up, my bad. Anyways, uh, the water level's low. I'm gonna get the camera. We're gonna fucking put water in here to top it off because it's fucking low as fuck. You can see the bubbles in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's bubbles in the tank. And like I said, I was going to do this raw and uncut. So we're going to fill it up. I actually forget, forgot to go grab water from the store. So I'm just going to grab our drinking water from little jugs and throw that shit in. And like I said, normally normally you want to add some... Uh... Fuck, let me just do it right. All right, here's my uh, alkalinity solution bullshit. Whenever you're going to top off water... You, you add it to your top off water, but this is the water we drink, so I'm not going to add it to that shit. So you add a little bit of that shit before you top off, right? That way you don't have a pH drop of your hydroxide and, and the carbonate in the water. Because when you add fresh water, it's going to drop that fucking uh, pH and the carbonate in the water. So alkalinity is going to drop. So I added some of that shit in with the RO water that I threw in to top off, but um, pretty sure you guys know that shit, or you should know that shit. But anyways, I'm gonna flip the camera around and then we're gonna look through the spectroscope so you guys can see what the fuck I was talking about, all right? I just forgot where I put it up, oh, right. So remember, it, you hold it. It just, it looks backwards on the camera because I forgot the, <laughs> visually I have to work opposite. Um, Cause the camera lens, it, it's, it's, it's a fucking lens shit. But anyways, I, I'm holding, this is my right hand. I don't know if it looks like the left hand on the camera. But anyway, this is my right hand. Here's the long ways of the triangle. You grab it, we're gonna look through it. All right, and, but I'm gonna switch the camera, flip the camera and then uh, do this shit, all right? So hold the fuck up. <laughs> let me find, let me lower the tripod real quick. Now, like I said, guys, I'm giving you guys kajillion dollar game. Like, no other motherfucker has ever done this. If even if you Google fuck it, YouTube fuck it, uh, email fuck it, text fuck it, uh, what else is there? Face fuck it, like f Facebook shit, face fuck it, uh, text fuck it, postcard fuck it, your mama fucked it, all that shit fucked it. You know what I mean? Pornhub fucked it. All that shit fucked it. All right, hold on. Let me uh, flip the camera real quick. Figure out which way's the button. Oh yeah, got it. <laughs> All right, got it, guys. To flip it around. My bad. Hopefully, I, you guys are entertained and shit. 
<laughs> Dang, bro, get some water in there. <laughs> is that water from Walmart? Yeah, it is, bro. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna get my RO unit. I'm gonna buy it from Bulk Reef. Probably this, maybe this week, or maybe if I don't get it this Thursday, I might get it in two weeks or whatever. But uh, I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> but that definitely was a Walmart water. I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you guys where I get that shit. I don't give a fuck. If you go to Walmart, bro, they, at least my local Walmart, even says, oh, we filter that shit through reverse osmosis and then it passes through a fucking UV sterilizer. All right, fuck it. That's good enough for me. Because <laughs> I ain't got shit. Because if you go to buy our water at Target, like the little jugs or any little jugs, they're like a dollar something. Fuck that shit. I could get like, Walmart water for like a dollar something. All right, so, ah, uh, fuck. Where's the shit? Oh, there you go. All right, so you see, we're gonna line the the left side of the bar. You see that? And then you see the right the right side. See the color bands? Fuck! Look how. You see how nice and beautiful the rainbow shit is right there. That's what you want, guys. But you see where it says four. Sorry guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to put, put my I'm, I'm, a way to hold the shit so I don't have to hold it with my hand. Sorry, I just noticed the other tank light went on. But anyway, so what you want to do is, like I said, you see the little slit. <clears throat> like I said, guys, I'm giving you guys fucking quadrillion dollar gain. Let me sit on the fucking chair real quick, cause fuck, fuck this shit. Hold on. And like I said, no other fucking pendejo and fucking uh, YouTube is doing this shit. So if they fucking do this shit, fucking better give credit. Or at least we all know where they got that shit from or the original source was. Because prior to fucking today, whatever the fuck today is, you guys fucking date fuck it. Uh, January 17th. Uh, you guys fucking know they were biting off my shit. Anyways, so when you look through it. Oh, sorry guys, I just can't. You see, I'm trying to match. I'm doing two things. I'm trying to match the camera fucking thing and my lens and the thing. Okay, bam. You see how it's lined up, kind of? Ah, bitch. Where's the center? Hold on, let me find the center of this. Okay, like right about there. Okay. All right, you see how, oh, there you go. You see how it's bright, bright, bright? Then you go right. I know it's going to have to be a little bit different, guys, but. You see how then we look at the numbers on the right side? But you see the color band? You see how it goes from purple? You can see the bluish, kind of, but the lens, the lens, my camera is not really picking up the bluish, the transition too much. But you can see the transition, then the blues, the greens, and then it goes from, Ah, oh, bitch. Motherfucker. Okay, there you go. And it goes right in the yellows in the middle. And then it goes to the reds. And then in the, to, in the infrareds, where well, we can't see it no more. But you see the scale? You see where it says 400 to 700? Those are the nanometers, all right? Those are in nanometers, I believe. Let me check the units real quick. Hold on. Let me check the units, guys, because the fucking units are not marked on the fucking thing. Fucking dick faces. That's why it's meant for kids and college students, because the fucking units are not written. But they should be in nanometers. Uh, centimeters. Oh, what the fuck? Align with a 400 nanometer will be... See, they, they gave us some calculation shits right here. Uh, one to the four... These are in centimeters? A, a line with a 700 nanometer will be 6.7 centimeters. Okay, yeah, so the, it, the, the scale is in nanometers itself. And then they're telling you how to convert it to centimeters, to the metric system. Okay, at least, fucking, at least they did that shit for you. And all you gotta do is just plug that shit in, you see that? 0 0.19 meters. I think those are just conversion units from meters to centimeters, to tell you the truth, guys. Because it's... it's... 
see if it's 400 nanometers they're converting six six meters down here to meters and uh 2.0 10 to the minus six meters i believe is a uh equivalent to or this is equivalent to one centimeter right here some shit like that but like i said it all they're doing just converting. If if you're a university student and you can't do that shit, bro, um, uh, you might want to go fucking start from page one again. But anyways, the value of D is determined by the diffraction grading. If there are 500 line millimeters, there are 2.0 times 10 to the 6 meters between the slits. Okay, we're going to go and really check that shit later. Like I said, I, this was just an unboxing thing. I just want to know what, what was the wavelength in meters. <clears throat> sodium is a comet. Okay, see, th this is what I'm telling you guys. Sodium is a comet containment in many spectrum tubes. Was there evidence of any tubes you viewed contained sodium? Okay, this is like if, like if you were like in a school. I guess if, yeah, I guess you could buy the... Oh, yeah, you could buy the, the little kit for your kids and shit. So you could look at, like, look at different light sources and shit. So this would be pretty cool, actually, if you have it for your kids. We just bought it just because I already know how to use it. I don't need that shit, but... Um, yeah, but, so, anyway, when you buy the little kit or something like that, um, it has, like, a little lamp so you could turn on different light sources and you could look through it. But, anyways, let's go back. So it, it is in nanometers, so... Um, this is the exact shit that they use for our reef tank lightings. The, uh, everything's in nanometers. All right, guys. So let's look through it again. And let's look at that scale. You see how... Let me get closer. Let me find a way to see the numbers real quick. Okay. Oh, there you go. You see how the numbers are 4 to 7? That's because our... Our eyes are able to see somewhere between 400 to 700 nanometers. All right. So if you look at the light spectrum right there, uh, you can see. I know. I know you can't pick it up, but so it goes from 400 to 700. But you see the transition. It's nice and beautiful. So on your reef tank lights, if you don't have, if you're missing bars on that bitch, you definitely know something's up. So let's look at a different light source real quick, so we could compare. Maybe. Fucker. All right. Let's go just blue. Hold on. Let me grab my spectrum. Let's see if it could pick it up. Oh yeah, so it's going to be really hard to pick it up. You see how on the on the band, oh, bitch. You see how on the band you can only see on the left side between 400 to 500. Damn, guys, my bad guys. I can't concentrate this bitch. But you see the left band, it's only right there on the left side between the 400 and the 500 nanometers when I just have the blue on. So on your fucking lights, if, if you see that you're missing bands, you see, you see how there's no red spectrum? There's only like blue and purplish right there that you can barely see. I Sorry, I can't focus the camera, guys. Hold on, let me tap it on it with my nose. <laughs> All right, I think I fucked it up even more. I can't focus the camera, guys, and hold the shit at the same time. Okay, there you go. Ah, uh, bitch. I can't get the thing to light up. But anyways, guys, I can't really show you, but you see the band? You see how I'm, I don't have a red spectrum? It kind of ends at the green. That's how you know you need to add different types of lighting to your system. So if you're missing red, 
add the red spectrum to that shit. All right. So if I turn on the the white light on there, I should be able to pick up a lot more shit on there. Hold on. Okay, see, immediately you can see a rainbow. You, you get what I'm saying, guys? And honestly, some of those colors are not really there. Huh, actually, what do you know? A lot of the colors are there. This light actually has a lot of spectrum to it. Surprisingly, this, this light actually might be able to grow corals, honestly. But I think the it's it, it has too much red and green where it's gonna grow a lot of plants though. But anyways, you get that shit. But you saw when I only had the blue channels on, you only had a blue spectrum and it ended like at the green. That's something to really think about. So like I said, for ten bucks, guys, I bought this shit at Amazon. It's a cool little toy for your kids and shit. And honestly, it's a great reefing tool. Especially a lot of YouTubers that fucking constantly get free lights from companies and shit. Uh, here's a great way. Oh, look at that. Fucking nice, nice ass transition. Let me look at it in person real quick. Yeah, if I look at it on the spectroscope, there's a lot of blue. The blue's really overshadowing everything. I know you guys can't see it, but in person, there's a lot of blue in that bitch. There's more blue than red than, than you actually see. So, like I said, you want to see that shit through, your, through in person with your eye? Don't fucking be like me trying to put that shit through a <laughs> through a fucking lens or your camera and trying to look through that stupid shit. But like I said, guys, that's something you definitely wanna you wanna do. All right, so we're gonna go in here, guys. So, anyways, that that's something I, I wanted to show you guys. Like I said, nobody's ever done this before. If you see another video, send me the link and then let let me see what's up. There's different spectroscopes. There's one that looks like a little telescope. It's really small, also. It's a little bit cheaper than this one. Um, but this is the one I'm used to, the one I'm used to having in class. So I bought this one. And like I said, 10 bucks, guys. Fucking 10 bucks. That's 10 fucking dollars, man. Uh, you get to see your, your full spectrum on your reef tanks, uh, on your lights and shit. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a cool little toy to have. Um, I still highly recommend... A different way to measure intensity of the light so we might start diving into like lumens and shit like that so if we have so if we have the the light spectrum now we just gotta worry about the intensity and if we could just calculate for example it, let's say so, someone has a par meter and wants to uh let me borrow one uh i'll grab a par meter and check the par meter and then compare it to lumens uh, i'll grab a little like a regular lumen meter, whatever the fuck, and then uh, compare it at the surface. That way we could all kind of transition the... What do you call that shit? Ah, uh, fucking... Uh, I forgot what I was saying because I was reading Rainer's comment. Oh yeah, so we'll compare the the meters that we could just buy on Amazon for 10 bucks to the par meter and then kind of do it that way instead of Cause I think par or whatever that shit, I think it was just something that was made up to sell shit to people in the hobby. Um, keep it straight up with you guys. Um, you ain't gonna hear it from anywhere else but me. But I think that shit is made up, bro. Um, I never heard that shit in physics or in chemistry. Uh, if you guys have, fucking send me the textbook with fucking picture of the page number and all that bullshit. 
Um, a physics, a real physics and chem- chemistry book. None of that fucking hobbyist. Some hobbyist did a fucking reef shit. Like an actual fucking book. Um, send me that shit. But you ain't never gonna see par or anything like that. Oh, oh yeah, guys. Um, I forgot to tell you, my light it is more blue right now. So that's why on the spectrometer it's blue. Uh, if we weigh like around uh, midday intensity, you can see even more. Uh, uh, what lights are more dominant because you will when I look at it in person I definitely see the blue like bright as fuck in my like in my eye Because I am running mostly a blue channel right now like uh, Let me go grab my my thing real quick my controller so you guys can see what's up All right, Cracker Jacks. I got my controller. Let me plug it in because it's not plugged. One thing cool about these lights is that once you have the controller and you set your lights, it, it stays like that. That's what's really cool. Oh, yeah. Here's the... Oh. All right. So it turned on. So let me see the light settings right now. These are the things I have right now. Okay, there you go. So I'm at 20% on the B, 20% on the C, 20% on the D. On the E is 2%, F is 3%. So this is my current light settings at the time right now. But, oh shit. Let's see. Let's see this shit real quick. Let me change the... Then at 10 o'clock, it goes to 50. You see what I mean? So throughout the day, I should be I, sh- I should be testing this shit throughout the day. You see that? Okay, so this is the time I was telling you. This is my most intense light. That's at 88% on most channels. 70 on one. A is, a is the white light. I have that shit at 18%. E, I forgot what the fuck the E was. Um, but anyways, that's what you want to compare that shit. All right, guys. But right now, my lights at. Uh, I have the the new Psych K7 uh, V2s or some shit V3s or some, some bullshit like that. But that's my current light settings right now. Okay, like I said, it changes throughout the day. All right. Bam. So I unplugged that. All right. So remember, this little tool really helps. And like I said, nobody has done that shit. Like I said, I should have put the link on Amazon. I might do it after. Um, so you guys can get the same one I got or get a better one. I don't know what it was fuck. I don't think you guys want to spend more than 10 bucks on that shit. All right, so now we're going to go in here and we're going to start scrubbing the tank. See all the nastiness. Sorry, maybe catch up on the live chat. One centimeter equals 10 uh, millimeters. Yep. That's what I love about the metric system. Everything's in tens. Nice. All right. But like I said, guys, nobody else has done that besides us. And like I said, it's a cool little, it's a cool little tool. And I'm drinking some beer or what? <laughs> Damn, a beer sounds good. Oh shit! You're right, bro. I had my coke. Thanks for reminding me. Hopefully it didn't freeze. I had it in the freezer this whole time. The way I know if it froze, if that water freezes on top, uh, it's definitely frozen. All right. Oh, shit. 
It's a little slushy and shit. My bad. Fuck. That's what happens when you forget. Alright. Sorry, so I'm gonna go in there and start cleaning this shit up. Like I say, I'm gonna get rid of all the algae out. Fuck it. And then we're gonna dose some Dino X and some algicide into the tank, alright? I actually been started dosing it since like uh, yesterday or some shit like that. And then I'm gonna do an ICP test, uh, pretty soon. Cause I think, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the Walmart water is clean enough cause it's killing my snails. Or there's something else I'm not thinking about. But I found every time I couldn't keep snails alive, there was something wrong with the water. I think they need to change that shit because a lot of people buy that shit. And you know how we in the hobby, we change that shit usually frequently, unless you're me. Anyway, let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Cause... Let me take. Actually, I think it looks better without this shit. What do you guys think it looks better, huh? I think it probably looks better on the on this thing itself. Damn, what the hell? Okay, there you go. That's what I mean, they don't... Oh, shit. <laughs> this thing's a little bit flimsy, guys, to tell you guys the truth. Alright. So, there you go. You guys can see what I'm doing now. Let's see, uh, Rainer says, I run 100% blue plus white, 30 to 100%. Clouds, 10 minutes sunrise, 3 hours sunset to moon. That's what's up, G. I forgot what kind of lights you have. Hey, uh, uh, CO Reefing, uh, oh wait, CO Reefing, put another comment, bro. My bad, G. I just updated you, bro. But I was gonna ask you what, uh, what lights do you use, bro? I finally got my Monty's to grow under this light. Because it, it took me like five months, bro, just to get the the intensity right. Because I'm using a pretty intense light for a little 14-gallon tank, bro. I'm like, fuck. You get what I'm saying? It's a pretty intense light for a little tank. I mean, I had it dialed down when I had the LPS in here, but the SPS weren't, like, having it too much. They kind of wanted more light. And then when the tank crashed in the summer because of the heat, uh, I just uh, went SPS, fuck it. Mostly because the Digi survived. I use a G5 Blue and G6 Blue XR15. See, you got the good shit. I, I was going to buy that, bro. But my boy Calypso uh, said go with go with the Noopsies for two hundred and fifty bucks. He said he really loves this light. 
And honestly, once you tune it in, bro, for 250 bucks, bro, this fight's fucking awesome. But like I said, it took me five months to do that shit. But I would, I would say the same thing with Radeons. It would take me the same thing. The only one I really like that's out of the box for people is Kessel. Um, for new people, I always recommend the Kessels. Uh, even, even for experienced hobbyists, the Kessels are pretty easy. Only I always recommend buying the next size up because they usually lack intensity sometimes. Let me take this shit out. This is nasty shit. All the dinos that are on the surface. Like I said, we're we're gonna dose Dino X again because this is the second treatment for Dino X. I don't dose by millimeters how they recommend. I just put drops. <laughs> I don't have I don't wanna I don't have a tool to measure in millimeters. I do got a pipette, but I'm not gonna use that for the poison though. all that nasty shit out. This is that coral I told you I was going to take out, but I didn't because I saw it turning pink and shit now. But I thought it was brown. So I said we're going to get all the algae out, especially out of the corals, and then treat the tank with both algicide and Dino X. Fucking hit it double lammy. Until I fucking have a clean tank and then stop treating the tank. Like I said, this little tank, I, I use it for experiments, so I really don't give a fuck. But like I said, it's always meant to keep the corals alive. I don't experiment with shit that's going to make them die on purpose. On the 80 gallon, on the 25 gallon water box, I have a Gen 4 Pro XR15. Yeah, see, those are all good lights, though. Those are all good lights. They're all proven. The light I got, is it's more experimental. <laughs> but kind of proven through my boy Calypso, so it kind of made me get it. But I was going to honestly spend like a thousand bucks on one light, bro. And Calypso said, hey, bro, just buy this shit for, like, 250 bucks. And it's growing my SPS coral. Like, all right, fuck it. I'll try that shit. But I only bought it because it had two two outputs. So it, it's not a single light. And I've been treating the tank so the algae's kind of coming off pretty easy. And definitely weakened it. Hair algae, dino, all that shit. Especially the hair algae. I really wanted to get that shit off my coral. Look at that shit. Yeah, I think it looks better without it. Because I, I don't... My tank's not blue, blue. Because I do add white for the coral. I got my TMC Aqua Ray. Oh, that's what's up, G. I run the AB plus settings and just take away the long moon phase they have because I don't like them. Yeah. I, the lo I would have a moon phase if, if it's in the living room. But if it's in a bedroom, I take that shit out, bro. Fuck that shit. I don't like... I want to have nothing... I don't want to see shit. <laughs> I don't have no lights in the room. I just want to be dark. You should try Vibrant, bro. Oh, yeah. I was going to try Vibrant, bro. But um, I kind of looked at the ingredients of Vibrant. And then I kind of deciphered what they're using. So I'm using a, a different chemical. I mean, a different brand that's used for some other shit. That's also made out of Vibrant. That's what I'm using, bro. To tell you the truth. <laughs> Um, you don't really need to buy shit from the main company. If you know what's in it, bro, you can figure out. If if you go to the actually, if you go to the local grocery store right now, they with the shit they have selling for food, you can make your own salt water, bro. 
straight up. Um, there's, there's a, there's a way to get by through everything, but, but I was gonna try the Vibrant, but like I said, I rather, cause I had Dinos, I just bought the Dino X, so it kind of just made sense. But look at that, that guy looks a lot better for sure. But who knows? If you think I should add the Vibrant in here also, I'll, I'll, I'll throw that shit in there also. Fucking tack it three different chemicals in that bitch. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, bro, and then like, I, I only add chemicals that I know is going to keep my SPS coral alive. Um, the Dino X, bro, I've I seen videos that say, oh, but the Dino X killed all my SPS corals, so I was hesitant of using that shit. T to tell you the truth, bro, to be honest with you. Oh, another thing, I, I also do have chem the the carbon in the tank from like about two weeks ago, maybe. I forgot when I added it. I did not take it out. So I said if I overdose it, have some of the carbon take that shit out at the same time. I'd rather dose more of that shit than lose the coral for adding too much of that shit. I mean, I should probably take it out, but fuck it. Hey, but let me know if you guys had that problem, because I've always had that problem since I started the reefing. Sometimes I'll have that snail that just die on me and shit. Through the acclimation. Once, if they survive the acclimation, they're good. I would try one at a time. You don't want to kill the corals with all that medic medicine or medication. I have used Vibrant with SPS, and they survive. Yeah, see, uh, the Vibrant, I know it works, but I'm talking about the Dino X. Hold on, let me show you real quick. Uh, this shit. They said this shit killed some of their SPS, so I was like, ah, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck it, let's use it. I want to upgrade my TMC systems, but they are hard to get here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've never used that, bro. <laughs> yeah, me neither, bro. This is my first time. Like, two days ago that I used that shit. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> So instead of dosing what they recommend, I've just been dosing drops at a time. Kind of guessing where it should be at, but I just look at the response on the coral polyps and shit. And then I look at the, if I see the bubbles on the actual algae, then I stop. And if the polyps are still out, I just stop, you know what I mean? But I still have that carbon in there, like just in case. All right, let's see. Let's go a little bit lower right here. Hmm? All right, let's go right here. Yeah. Let's see, grab that. But you see the the coral line's doing really good. It's, my rock salt purple as fuck. And you guys know me, I only start with dry white base rock as fuck. Ah oh, man, this thing got wet, now it's sliding.
Uh, let me put it feeding mode because these waves too much. Alright, the, the wave action was way too much. Alright. See, I got my film wet. <laughs> Like I said, guys, I have nothing special in my tank. A lot of people buy a whole bunch of shit to keep their Monty's alive or whatever alive. And just to show you, as long as you really, really know what you're doing, you should be all right. better, huh? Man, hopefully the algae didn't kill the base. All right, let me see. See, see, things are going a lot better. And like I said, I'm going to treat it so it just keeps killing all the algae. Surprisingly, like I said, the coral line's still alive. I bet you guys never seen a tank this dirty with the SPS still alive. <laughs> Be like, nah, my tank. Like I said, this guy's been growing, guys. This uh, Monty right here, the Digi right here's been growing. The tips are definitely growing. They were not shaped like that. But it hasn't really encrusted, but it hasn't encrusted because of this algae, though. But as long as the tips are growing, fuck it. I'd rather grow vertically then. Then encrust all over the rock.
All right, just gonna go through all the algae row right here. Get them off of my rostazoas. So these rostazoas have been with me for a while. Actually, these rostazoas have been with me since I started actually really uh, going live on YouTube. Like I said, guys, if you guys are part of the project, whatever corals I got, bro, just pay for the shipping and I'll fucking send you some for free. I don't give a fuck. Or if you, or if you guys want to be coral pin pals, fucking, uh, I'll send you a whole bunch of SPS coral or, or LPS, whatever corals you want. If you want soft corals, I'll send you that shit too. But um, if you want a, whole, a huge diverse of LPS or SPS corals, you guys want to be reefing pin pals, send me, I like, Maybe like once or twice a year, send each other a whole bunch of frags and shit. That'd be pretty cool. But shit we actually like, man. Not fucking... If I don't like that shit, I'm just gonna give it away. You know what I mean? That's why I say just for once a year. Not fucking all the time. <laughs> and then that way we keep coral colonies alive. Set up a new system, you got backups everywhere. So I said normally I do a water change, but I'm not gonna do a water change, guys. We're just gonna keep treating and shit. See what you guys are saying. Daryl, hey G, thank you for joining, bro. I just dropped you a wrench, bro. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I never used that, bro. I would try Flux RX for that hair algae. Hey, bro, I'm gonna try that Flux RX. All right, bro. I said there's a whole bunch. I I I, I know on the Dino bot, Dino X it says it does hair algae also, but if there's one more specific for hair algae, I'm gonna try it. I thought adult clown trigger would eat small fish like a picture dragonette. Nah, bro. Um, if you haven't fed, they won't. They'll leave the small fish alone, especially if they were there before him. But if, once there is that, oh, honestly, and it depends what you feed them. If you feed them live shit all the time. They'll become super aggressive. If you feed them uh, packaged food or dry, frozen, like, you know, like frozen or, I don't know, like flakes and pellets and shit, but frozen and all that bullshit, um, they don't really become as, as aggressive. They actually become pretty peaceful. I had peaceful triggers before. I love those motherfuckers. When you have a peaceful trigger, that's a pretty cool ass fish. Doesn't matter what. What, what species it is. It's like when you find a, a puffer that leaves all your corals alone. It's really cool ass fucking puffer, whatever it is. Alright. Let's go right here. See right here? See, this is the frag that I tell you guys that keeps surviving. It doesn't die. <laughs> it hasn't even... I thought this hair algae would have killed it and it's still alive. Look at that shit. Okay, did lose a little bit extra tissue this time because I did let the hair algae grow, but except if it survives this time, there's not gonna be algae on it. <clears throat> but fuck it, you know what I mean? I also don't trip about it. Like I said, I could grab another of those, but I don't like killing coral though. I'm gonna add no more coral until I get the algae out of here.
Yeah, this thing, I need to wash the lens real quick. You see that? It's fucking clean so far. Alright, we're almost done, guys, and then we're almost out of here. No worries. Those clowns have had enough. <laughs> yeah, bro. And they're pretty friendly, but they definitely don't like the tools in here. They always attack the toothbrush and the turkey baster. I fed him with my tanks, so a lot of vegetables. I had fruits, swimming, koi food, algae flakes, and decapitated artemia eggs. Oh, decapulated. Oh, yeah, Artemia, bro. Those are pretty cool. Brine shrimp, all that shit. Pretty cool ass shit. I gotta secure this frag a little bit better. I left it loose because I, I, in case I was gonna move it. Bam. Oh shit. <laughs> this is what I didn't wanna do. I grab the epoxy and all that shit real quick.
Bam, right there. <sighs> My bad guys had to refrag that shit. Or replace them, actually. Or re glue them, remount them. This chalice has been doing really good right here. God. Oh, I just want to say Damn it. Take that shit out next to me. 
All right, fucking finally done, guys. All right, so that's all the shit we're going to do for today, guys. Now I'm just going to put some of the Dino X shit and then the algae side shit, and we're, we're out of here. All right. I said, I don't know. Last time I, I think I just had seven drops today. Oh, shit. And here's a special solution. All right, and then that should also be helping uh, kill some of the algae and shit. Oh, I forgot the algae. In on the power head and on the side oh well fuck it uh. do that shit next time alright guys that's pretty much it let me go rinse out my hands again Alright, let's see. Alright, let me catch up on comments and then we're out of here. I feed him with my tanks. I have a lot of vegetables. Fruit swimming around. <laughs> That's good shit. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, guys. Remember, you buy yourself a little spectroscope. 
and you should be able to see everything. Well, anyways, guys, you guys get the idea. But, uh, get yourself a spectroscope and all that shit. But, we're pretty much it, guys. Tomorrow, I'll probably go live again. And then, uh, oh, man, I fragged the coral in the wrong spot. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, was it in the right spot? No, it wasn't. Okay, wait. Anyways, fuck it. We're done.
Bam. All right, fuck it. All right, we're, we're just cleaning up. We're out of here. Right. All right, bam. All right, guys, fucking, there it is, a clean tank. Man, we're gonna get out of here. As soon as let that shit clear up, let the the chemicals take effect, and it should be all cool. But all right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go walk the dogs. See you guys next time. What color get my clown offspring female is a snowflake male is a black egg snowstorm looks like snow onyx <laughs> Rainer that's just badass bro That's that's a pretty nice cross right there actually But damn guys see nice nice little scrub made a tink Ah oh, fuck I forgot one coral Damn it
fucking good. Alright, good shit. Alright guys, finally done. So we're out of here guys, finally got that last coral cool done. I forgot about that shit. <laughs> Imagine the hair algae would have killed that shit. Um But yeah man, anyway, that's pretty much it guys. I'll see you guys next time. I'm just looking at the wave maker. I think I need to get the algae off the wave maker. Probably clean that shit next time. Alright guys, see you guys next time. And we're out. <laughs>